What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to take a look at Player Unknown's but What? Fortnite Battle Royale? Ah, oh, shit. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Fortnite Battle Royale totally not jumping on the bandwagon of Player Unknown Battlegrounds popularity all of a sudden, the phenomenon that it is. Developed by Epic Games and built in Unreal Engine 4, the same as Battlegrounds, but it does share more similarities than just that. But we'll just call those engine limitations. <coughs> Of course, Fortnite is still in early access on both PC and console, and the footage on screen now, which is slightly lower quality than my usual, is recorded on my Xbox One S. That's why I'm such a noob and die all the time. At least that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. When you first jump into a game, you're on a totally unique starting island with all the other players messing about, firing guns and practicing with their structure building. When that timer runs out, up to 100 players enter the battlegrounds via the battle bus. Oh yeah, that's right, the battle bus. What a nice little twist on the entry to Battle Royale. To be fair, it does fit in kinda with the lore from the normal Fortnite game mode, not that I played it that much because I got bored pretty quick. And of course, after a certain amount of time, all players can eject from the battle bus and freefall down to the arena. There is only one map in Fortnite's Battlegrounds, but there is multiple times of day. One good thing about freefalling is you can deploy your glider instead of parachute and put it back away and deploy it again if you decide to go somewhere else. The animation for deploying your glider is pretty swifty, but when you put it away, it just disappears. Of course, the fun really begins when you land in your desired location, preferably somewhere with multiple structures, which means multiple gear, loot up, and get ready to win. The chicken, I mean, what, what's it called in Fortnite? That's one thing I don't know is what happens when you do win a match. I am of course playing on the console and I am rubbish. Oh my god, the amount of teaming currently and third person kills that you get, so cheeky third person kills, it's unreal. As well as some of the seemingly unbalanced items you can find like the shield power up giving you 50% shield or damage resistance on top of your normal health. Multiple of these power-ups can reach 100% of your normal health. I hope that kind of made sense, because it confused me, but whenever I used this against somebody else, they killed me pretty quick. Whenever they had the shield on them, I could pretty much empty a whole mag into them and do no damage to their normal health at all. It was pretty scary. But hey, we can do this! So I'm going to filler the rest of this video with gameplay clips from Player Unknown's Fortnite. Remember to let me know in the comments below if you've played Fortnite, what your thoughts are on it. Leave a like, as it helps the channel out a lot, and I'll see you peeps next time.